As we begin the school year with a new class of talent just embarking on their higher education journey, let's, let's inspire and let's be inspired by them. They are high achieving students for the most part from across our commonwealth, our nation and across the globe. They have the highest average ACT of any previous WKU class and they are culturally diverse. They are better prepared for college than students that preceded them, and they are receiving more scholarships than in past years. We are investing in them, including a record number of minority scholarships awarded. You are the key to doing this. We are all in higher education because we value the opportunity to teach, to study, to mentor, to inspire, and to enrich the lives of others. Our responsibility is to create a campus environment where students can develop their talents and achieve their full potential. Over the last couple of years, we have implemented numerous models to enhance college preparedness among regional high school students. We have strengthened our own retention programs and redesigned our general education curriculum into a splendid colonnade plan, which ensures that our core curriculum teaches students to think critically, solve problems, and communicate effectively. We've also strengthened our admissions policies to focus on better prepared students who are more likely to persist and graduate. We are seeing the first signs of success and indeed validation that these strategies are beginning to pay off. As a result, our new admission standards allowed us this year to accept some 500 fewer students this year than last year. The average ACT score for this incoming class of students is up a third of a point over last year, which puts this class in the upper 40th percentile of all students taking the ACT. The average GPA for this year's freshman class is also up from 3.14 last year to 3.19 this year. The overall quality measures show we are improving. We're all aware of the difficult financial challenges in recent years, and improving Kentucky economic profile, I am hopeful, will mean that we have reached an end to the state budget reductions for a while, although it remains to be seen whether an improving state economy will result in any increased funding for higher education. Our approach is to do all we can to support a reasonable higher education funding model and I'm involved in that, the provost is involved in that, our vice president for finance and administration is involved in that. We're working hard to have a funding model that makes sense and that is reasonable for Kentucky higher education heading into the 2014 Kentucky General Assembly, which is expected to produce a budget for the 2014 to 2016 biennium. Our successes have to start with the Gatton Academy. Established only seven years ago, the Gatton Academy, for the second year in a row, was named the number one high school in America by Newsweek magazine. Another dramatic success story at WKU is what is taking place in the name of internationalization, you know, that international reach thing, which is at the core of our vision to become a leading American university, but we cannot do those four words without those last three with international reach. And it's at the heart of our action plan. And this phenomenon has continued to grow over the last several years. This past year, we saw significant growth in both international enrollments and WKU students studying abroad. And I understand that just this week, we have a record number of international students who are enrolling at WKU this year. Clearly, the Honors College is a key dynamic in the pursuit of global learning. With more than 1,200 superior students and an average ACT of 30, the Honors College brings intellectual energy and strength to our classrooms and to our laboratories. It has made WKU the destination point for Kentucky's and some of the nation's best students. These students raise the intellectual level and standards for all undergraduates.